Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Entertainment Therapy. I'm your host, Dr. Ian, and I've got something very special for all you guys out there. Uh, since my channel is called Entertainment Therapy, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of uh, just movies on my channel. So... I guess now, um, instead of just movies, obviously, since it's called Entertainment Therapy, I'm also going to be doing television shows. Um, all, all kinds of shows, uh, ranging from maybe, you know, Netflix shows and HBO shows. I'm going to try to cover whatever I can, whatever I can get, you know, these eyes to watch. So, our, so my first review from my actually from my first TV review, I'm going to be reviewing for you guys Narcos Season 1. This is the first season, and uh, season two is all, has obviously all, already come out. That that review is going to be coming up soon, but I have to do a whole lot of binge watching on that one. But for right now, here is season here is season one of of Narcos. So basically, the show Narcos is about the telling of the rise and sort of start of decline of Pablo Escobar. And the DEA agents that were tasked, alongside with uh, the uh, the uh, the government of uh, Colombia, uh, to take him down. Basically, this is a mostly true to life telling of of them investigating Pablo Escobar from the beginning towards a little bit towards the end of his of his uh, downfall. In season 1, we don't quite get that downfall. Obviously, that's going to be safe for season 2. Um, but uh to start off, uh I actually really really dug this season. Um it has uh I love the way the show kind of mixes real life real life stock footage and they intertwine the shows, actors with real life events. I really liked how they did that. I like that they really involved um, a lot of really cool facts about um, when Bush was the uh, the head of the uh, the CIA. I love that they show a lot of footage of Reagan, of uh, or of ex President Reagan. You know being really involved with the fights with the uh, drug the uh, drug cartels and how America got involved. I really really dug all of that stuff. It's there's some really interesting stories here. Um especially coming from the DEA agents. They have to do a lot of tiptoeing across that line between uh between being lawful and I guess unlawful. They have to uh they have to get their hands a bit dirty. And I really, really like that aspect. And obviously anybody that was going after Pablo Escobar at the time did not have their hands completely clean. You had to be a little bit dirty to get you had to get down to this guy's level to really understand who this monster was. And um I really like that aspect of the show with the with the uh, DEA agents. Now the best part of the show, clearly. Uh, I think his name is Wagner. Oh, damn it. Uh, his last name is escaping me, but I know his first name is Wagner. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me. I'll have to look it up. But um, the guy who played, the actor that played Pablo Escobar, wow. I was riveted by this guy. He was so good as Pablo. I felt that that was him. I really felt it. And he even kind of looks like him. Um, he's actually, he's a little bit more handsome than the actual Pablo Escobar. So I can see how um, if Pablo wasn't super, you know, rich and powerful and, you know, the man that he is, I can see him actually, you know, being the womanizer that he is in the show. He's actually a really, really charming guy, and and you can and he just oozes charisma right through the screen. Fantastic work. Um, he's uh, he's one of the reasons why I kind of stuck around to watch this show because there are times I'm not gonna lie, there are times where this where the show has a couple of I don't want to say completely filler episodes, but I I guess I, I guess you can say filler moments that I wasn't too you know keen on like there were some avenues that they there were some storylines that they start but they never quite finish or it never there's never that follow through that you want for a satisfying arc to certain subplots like there's one subplot about um 
about uh, there's a character named um, uh, Benya. He's a DEA agent, and there's a whole subplot about him trying to protect a uh, a communist spy, and she's a witness to some of Pablo's doings. But then she kind of she kind of disappears real quick. That subplot it's kind of fast and she kind of disappears real quick and it wasn't really that all that engaging not everything in the show is super engaging but that's kind of nitpicking though because the rest of the show anything having to do with with uh pablo with the cartels uh, most of the stuff with the da agents is really really is really really good stuff quality acting very violent very very violent this is not for the faint of heart there's some pretty shocking facts and uh, statistics that of all the deaths that happened around this time it was a very sad and very harsh time especially for the for the people of uh, Colombia such an impoverished you know country lots of really sad things going on in there I mean you guys will watch it I, I, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys um, and also, um, also wanted to say, really liked the uh, cinematography uh, of how this show was filmed. It had a great gritty style to it. Uh, when the action sequences were going on, no shaky camera, nothing like that. Really good editing, gr really good stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to recommend that you guys watch this show. It's really, really good. If you can take a lot of the violent natures of the show, I think you guys will really get a kick out of it. Also, the show can be a bit confusing at times because there's a lot of, you know, exposition dialogue about how certain drug cartels are formed and how Pablo got involved. The show actually does a really good job with the uh, narration on hooking you in and making you under... and and making you understand how everything came to be and how Pablo got involved with these these cartels and how they ended up, you know, becoming this big faction. So I definitely say uh, give this one a watch. Not my highest recommendation. It's still a very good show, but it's still worth a watch, though. So uh, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you guys soon for season two. And as always, I'll see you at the movies. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be coming back with some more TV reviews as well. Have a good one, guys. See ya.